Okay, guys, everyone and their mama has been hitting me up the whole past week telling me, Carly Russell, Carly Russell, Carly Russell. So get your snacks and get your tea, because some shit just went down. Now, if you just got to the party, don't worry. I'm going to get you up to date. Okay, so Carly Russell is this woman that was missing for like three days. We all thought that she got abducted. Why? Because there was a call to 911. Hoover Police Investigation Missing Person. On 7-13 at approximately 9.34 p.m., the Hoover 911 Center received a call from a 25-year-old female on 459 South near mile marker 11, who reported she saw a toddler walking on the side of the interstate. After calling 911, the caller stopped to check on the child and called a family member to report the same details. The family member lost contact with her, but the line remained open. Officers who were already en route to the location of the initial 911 call located the female's vehicle and some of her belongings nearby, but were unable to find her or the child in the area. Hoover police have not received any other calls of someone missing a child. Now, this news hit worldwide. Everyone is talking about this. This is Carly Russell, and she's... Okay, everybody, uh, that has been following... Can anybody tell... If you've never watched any of my videos, please stop and watch this video. This is about Carly Russell, who is a 25-year-old woman who... Now, after hearing this story, the only thing that made sense to people is that she had to have gotten abducted on the highway. So we're thinking it's she was on the highway, she saw a kid walking, parked the car, found the kid, called the police, said, yo, there's a kid on the road, called her parents, said, there's a kid in the road. The police showed up, and the only thing that they saw was her car left open with all her belongings, and she's missing, and the child is missing. So, like, everyone's like, it had to be an abduction. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is her parents at a press conference. She's a fighter, too. She, she's joyful and she's laid back but if it's a chance for her to put up a fight to try to save her life she's gonna do everything she can to put up a fight now every day that she went missing the police got on this and they started using more and more resources to find carly one of the first things that they did was check the highway cameras that footage has been released okay so now that's her car right there so you can see she got her yield lights on she's just cruising on the side of the road she stops right over there. You're going to see her go around the car. See her? You see her right there? She's going to go in the passenger side. I think she's going in there to grab something, but I, it's like you don't, I don't know what she's doing. She sits there for a while, like quite a long time. I had to skip the video. And then it's like she just kind of walks away or something. I'm not sure what happened. Now, from this video, I'm not really sure how she was able to see a baby on, just walking over here. If she got abducted, I'm just not sure how it happened right here because wouldn't there be like a getaway vehicle somewhere else over here i'm over here thinking it could have happened if you walked up that way now everyone on tiktok had their own theory but that didn't matter why because on saturday at 11 p.m carly russell was found and she's alive and they took her to the hospital with everybody happy that she was alive the first thing that police wanted to do and everybody wanted to do was give her some space because we we all believe that she's traumatized give her some space so that she can come back with the story and tell us what happened give us the facts now just recently they posted the statement that carly gave them it says here that carly told the police after she returned home on saturday and said that she has been kidnapped by a man who emerged from the trees near her car when she got out to check on the child she said the man, who she described as having orange hair with a bald spot, picked her up. She said she screamed, and then he forced her over a fence and into a car. The next thing she remembered was being in the trailer of an 18-wheeler, she said. Russell said she heard the voice of an adult female and the sound of a baby crying. She managed to escape the 18-wheeler and flee on foot, but was captured again and blindfolded. Russell said, but her hands weren't tied because her captor didn't want to leave marks on her wrists. Russell said she was taken to a house and forced to get undressed, and she believes her captor took photos of her but did not remember any physical or sexual contact. When she woke up the next day, Russell told police she was fed cheese crackers by the female captor who also played with her hair. She said she was put in a vehicle again and was able to escape for a second time, running through the woods until she emerged near her house. Detectives observed a tear in her shirt and a small injury to her lip and said she had $107 in cash in her right sock. 
This story is very interesting. There's a lot of holes in it. Am I tripping anyone in the comments? There's a lot of holes. I'm thinking that a detective was looking at her wrist because if you got kidnapped, they would tie you up. These guys didn't want to tie you up and they fed you ch cheese crackers. You escaped out of a 16 wheeler, which don't they like lock it from the back? You escaped a second time and ran through the forest all the way to your house. So your house was still nearby compared to like just walking out to like anybody in public and just asking for help. But you got home on foot and I, I, I mean, I would just think that someone would help you and drive you home. And then you say, yeah, someone helped me drive home once. As soon as I escaped, I found somebody and they drove me home. Uh, guys, I don't like being this person that like doesn't believe victims, but like it's just there's so many things that's missing in holes there's so many things where's the baby and guys i'm not the only one the police are saying that the stories are not matching up people on tiktoks don't believe it they're saying it's a hoax so i'm like what did the police say so it says here after leaving colonnade that might be her work or somewhere i'm not really sure carly went to target on highway 280 purchased some snacks these items were not located in the vehicle or with her cell phone and wig at the scene of her disappearance. The Hoover Police Department has not located any evidence of a toddler walking down the interstate, nor did we receive any additional calls about a toddler walking down the interstate. Despite numerous vehicles passing through that area as depicted by the traffic camera surveillance video, detectives have obtained surveillance video from Carly's neighborhood, which shows her walking down a sidewalk alone prior to her arrival at her residence. Fire department radio traffic obtained by several media outlets shows the medics were dispatched to her residence on an unresponsive but breathing person. That was a term used in the initial dispatch of the Hoover Fire Department to the residents, and the information about her condition was simply a dispatcher relaying the information from what a 911 caller told the emergency communicator. When they first arrived, they found Miss Russell conscious and speaking, and she was transported in that condition. So a lot of her story, they're still unable to confirm. Now, guys, this is when it starts to get messy because everyone on Facebook, people that know her, people on TikTok, they're showing all these screenshots. I'm going to just show you the screenshots I've been seeing. It doesn't mean that it's truth, but I'm telling you that everyone's sharing this. So someone was like, she started sprinting when she got closer to her home. Someone was like, that's not true. I know her brother. Well, what's the truth? This person says her boyfriend broke up with her and she wanted to do something drastic. But when it blew up like that, she went home. I'm like, what the fuck? Then over here, it says, allegedly, she made a call to her cousin from the hotel saying, I fucked up. It wasn't supposed to go this far. I think I'm in trouble. As I said, guys, these are allegedly, but we're going to just read some of these, okay? Because they're, they're on Facebook. She exited the vehicle, walked around to the passenger side, and stood there. A few minutes later, Carly was spotted walking into the woods alone. Keep in mind, those woods aren't a half mile in distance to the other side. On the other side of the woods is a road that runs from the, from the grove to Padden Creek. Carly was intercepted by someone else, possibly a separate guy she's involved with from Atlanta. Here's where it gets interesting. Carly's parents drove to Atlanta yesterday without notifying the authorities. When questioned, Carly's parents stated that they received a word that she was spotted in Atlanta. Well, the FBI moved forward with executing a SAR, suspicious activity report. In doing so, they discovered that Carly's parents have consistently wired large sums of money to someone in Atlanta. Additionally, Carly's cell phone shows a search history of a bus ticket inquiries. Now, if this is true, that would mean that she knew exactly where to stop the car and she knew that she was going to do the 911 call and she needed an excuse to leave her car on the highway. It almost sounds like she wanted to get her boyfriend to be worried about her. And I've heard stories where a person wants to break up with their partner. So the partner will do something drastic to make them worry and in and, and hopes that they can get the relationship to come back together. Here's some more text that's going around. She stole money from her work, completely fabricated the story. Hoover just hit her, her phone and reviewed the video of the red roof in of her checking into her room. Oh, Lord, I figured something shady was happening. I just want to know, did her family know or was they in on it? No, they didn't. They tried to deny the red roof in story as it unfolded because they knew she was on bullshit and didn't want the embarrassment. Oh, man, that's horrible for her family. They seemed like well off family but she's going to get eight live once the details are public and spread around. Now, about the Red Roof Inn, I know what they're talking about. So basically, the police got a phone call from somebody that's supposedly Carly Russell's family members telling them that she just checked in at this Red Roof Hotel. It could be a prank, but that's what was said.
So now everyone on TikTok believed that she was in this hotel this entire time, which would kind of make sense. And then she's calling all her family members, telling them, damn, she fucked up or she's trying to figure out what to do. She's thinking about what she should do or trying to come up with a story. Another thing that was said was that Carly was caught on surveillance buying food before she got abducted. But when they checked the car, there was no food. If you were being abducted or trying to help a child, why would you take your food out the car? So as I said, guys, there's a lot of things being said and a lot of things are, that cannot be verified unless Carly speaks. And I don't think anyone has heard her make like no one has seen her come on the camera and say what happened. We've not heard her speak. But you want to know who did speak? Police Chief Nick Durses. And listen to this. He's about to talk about her search history because they had her phone. They're going to talk about her search history and what she was typing up before she went missing. Analyzing data from Carly's cell phone that was left behind at the scene. We enlisted the help of the United States Secret Service in conducting this analysis. Part of what data includes several internet searches and the days leading up to their disappearance that I think are rele very relevant to this case. On July 11th at 7.30 a.m., the term, you have to pay for an Amber Alert was searched. On July 13th at 1.03 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term, how to take money from a register without being caught was searched. On July 13th at 2.13 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term Birmingham bus station was searched. On July 13th, 2.35 a.m., a search for a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville was conducted with a departure date of July 13th. On July 13th at 12.10, PM, a search for the movie Taken, a film about abduction, was conducted. There were two searches related to Amber Alerts on a computer at Carly's place of employment, including one regarding the maximum age of an Amber Alert. There were other searches on Carly's phone that appeared to shed some light on her mindset, but out of respect for her privacy, we will not be releasing the content of those searches at this time. We've asked to interview Carly a second time, but have not been granted that request. As you can see, there are many questions left to be answered, but only Carly can provide those answers. What we can say is that we've been unable to verify most of Carly's initial statement made to investigators, and we have no reason to believe that there is a threat to the public safety related, related to this particular case. Bro, this doesn't look good. Because that means all them screenshots I was sending you, this is almost verifying all of that shit. That means she really stole from her job. Someone had to have picked her up when she dropped her car off on the side of the road. She had that bus ticket, went to Atlanta or wherever. The parents might have found out later. And then because they knew that, damn, they knew it was bad, they wanted to protect their daughter. So they're a wire transferring her money. That's a possibility. And right now, that's why she's not going to give a statement. And the parents aren't even giving much information either. Because they're trying to protect her from the mess that she made. Bro, she even looked up the movie Taken before disappearing. If you guys don't know, Taken is literally about a guy who had a daughter go on vacation with her friends. And she gets kidnapped and trafficked. It's like she watched the movie to get prepared for this moment. I'm just... I. Now, the big question that everyone is asking... Why would Carly do this? And the word that's going around is her ex wanted to break up with her. So I wanted to see the man myself. This was her man. Also, he removed all the comments. Originally, when Carly was found, he posted a very heartfelt message about her. I don't even know how to start off this post, but to only say thank you to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for saving my girlfriend's life. So if this was Carly's plan, it worked. But after the search history was released, he removed everything and went silent. So now, guys, I'm going to show you something else. A lot of us believe that after she was found, she told the parents the real story. And as parents, of course, they're trying to protect their child. Look at this interview of them after she was found. Carly has given detectives her statement um, so that they can continue to pursue her abductor. Do you believe that there's an abductor still out there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, what's funny is that even the interviewer is like, do you really believe this? There's no way. Now, look at the dad, and it looks like he don't even know if he want to say yes or no. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Her dad was shaking his head to yes and no. <laughs> no cap. Notice when she said absolutely, her head nodded no. I noticed that. She did it too? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, wow. She did. Wow. Carly Russell's mother made another statement saying, we will not be bullied because of all of the stuff that is being said online. So all of this right here is getting hot. Now, my question is this. If Carly Russell lied, will she get jail time for that? And how much jail time? This is this is what's the problem right now is what is going to happen with Carly Russell if she cannot, cannot come with the facts. There is actually real people that's been abducted or got trafficked, bro, and went missing. And if you lie, that's crazy because you really had hundreds and hundreds of people tracking you down looking for you. That when there's really actually missing people, they're looking for you. This is not going to be good, y'all. So guys, I'm going to just leave it right here. If you guys want an update when more information comes out, just let me know and I'll make an update. Other than that, what do you think about this? Guys, we just made it to 1 million followers. Everything that we've been posting, the TikTok story times, I never thought we would, would get this far. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know y'all like them. So can you please follow the page for me? And outside of all this dead gang, remember, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far. Do not forget what you did all this work for. And I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not finna live it being no weak motherfucker. On dead and them, we got work to do. So pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced But it was so easy to throw us away And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be I fucking love you, but not more than me When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regrets You acting different, I'm peeping on that I really wanted to stay till the end But I gotta take off these rose-colored glasses And no one is time for me to walk away So I can say we wanted different things All of this effort, I'm tired of asking for it Why did you ask me to commit? I see where this is going, it's into a ditch <laughs> Die. 